Aloha. Please kokua and help us reach new viewers by subscribing to our HUOA YouTube page. Look for the red subscribe button on the bottom right. It's free. Your subscription supports our mission to share Uchinanchu Aloha around the world. Also, don't forget to give our videos a thumbs up. Mahalo and yuta surugutu urige sabida. The Hawaii United Okinawa Association's Virtual Okinawan Festival is made possible thanks to donations from viewers like you. Mahalo and ippe nihe debiru. How's it going? Hi, sir. How you Good. Happy, happy New Year. Isogachi debiru. What DJ said. <laughs> hey Colin, so how's it going? Aloha and hi Sai from Nagahama, Yomita. Hey Colin, nice to meet you. And Jason, all the way from San Jose, San Jose. California. Hey, how's Jason. it? Colin, hi Ty. We can't wait to meet you, Colin. We still haven't had a chance to meet yet. Looking forward to it, man. And and John, you look like you know. I feel like you, you, I just see this vision. You're in the dark, and you look like you're playing video games. <laughs> Seriously, I, I am. You know my. Just so people out there know, uh, there is an office here. People think that, you know, I just work out next to the pond at the Okinawa Center, which uh, I probably do in, in reality. But uh, I am in my office tonight, and I uh, wanted to hide the mess. I had to turn down the lights. <laughs> next next time, we got to see some, uh, like, uh, LED lights and some purple oh, highlights. And <laughs> um, Let's see. The, uh, so real quick, uh, you know, just a reminder, first of all, you know, hi, Sai, everybody. Happy New Year. And, you know, really happy to see you. We took a long hiatus, yeah. And I think the last time we had a show was November. But, you know, never fear. You know, our plan is to still have a uh, Yuntaku show every second and fourth uh, Tuesday of every month. And so we took a little bit of break while we were back. We're on our third season. And Janine's been following us since uh, for three years now from all the way in Kaneohe. So thank you, Janine, and many of you for uh, following us throughout. So really excited. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, third year of the pandemic as well, too. Crazy, right? We didn't think it was going to last this long. Mm -mm. In fact, we were hoping to see many of you uh, live in person. Some of you we got to see during Winter, Winter Craft Fair, but uh, very excited to see you guys. Hey, Sunday, how's it going? Welcome and, back, you know, she said. I just wanted to, you mentioned that you uh, we took a hiatus, but we were still very busy here at the Hawaii Okinawa Center at the HUA with all its volunteers. We had several events. We we actually, right before Omicron, you know, took over, really, we, we were able to have our senior, I mean, our craft fair, our winter craft fair. And uh, we had a great turnout. I want to thank all the public that came and supported HUA. And then, you know, uh, of course, we had great um online response to our marketplace you see dj sporting our our amazing <laughs> you know um, okinawa Bingata jersey mm -hmm. uh, you know has hoa with information Chinatsu on the back <laughs> and hawaii on the front uh you, and then this too on the okinawa to the max you know, big mahalo to for information i mean they awesome and you know from far away the the older people in the crowd more experienced people in the crowd it looks like medical but what uh dj why don't you tell what the two uh, logos on each side are the two go logos on each side so this one over here is our logo from last year so last year we celebrated hoa celebrated its 70th anniversary and so this is our special logo made for just this last year and then this one over here is the uh, no, information, information logo mm -hmm. the company information who designed this uh local shirt. company and so hi 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 and so even the um the hat has a little well, it has a high logo in the middle and then hoa logo uh on the side so again then, all of this stuff is uh at the shop hoa.com yeah? show underneath underneath of the brim has oh. uh, okinawa oh. and hawaii <laughs> no wait, wait my shirt my undershirt <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 so, so yeah, this yeah, side is uh, is both stitched, yeah, the island of Okinawa and then Hawaii. And then of and course so, you have Minsa uh, uh, all the way inside along the seams there yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So they did an awesome job, and it's amazing. Yeah, 
And it, it is sold. I don't remember if it's still available, but it is sold in uh, limited quantities. And you can actually, you know, if it's sold out on the shopichui.com, you can always go to information. Uh, I didn't end up the just, 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 uh, just search information uh-huh. with mm-hmm. the, the letter four in for the letter uh, number mm-hmm. four and then Misha. Nah, we got to have it. Uh, yeah, we'll put it up. We can put it in the chat. Yes, yep. yes, yes, yep. yes. Yep. <laughs> they're very, very popular on and the spe- island. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Speaking of the chat, you know, big shout out to Chris Iwamura. You know, he's actually mm-hmm. uh, always helping us, uh, actually behind the scenes. Um, you don't see mm-hmm. him. And we got this. Uh, he just he did a there's a name for these uh, exciting new Super chats. Chato. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. Super chat. <laughs> so. Another way for you guys to help us out, you know, again, third year of the pandemic and uh, sure we're struggling through, but with the support and help of all of you, we were able to get through and, uh, you know, we're looking for an exciting 22. Hopefully we can climb out of this, this pandemic era, but uh, the little things like this really help a lot. So again, uh, thanks for your $20 donation, Chris. Yeah, what Super Chat does is a YouTube feature, right? So, you know, you're able to donate, say, donate $5, $1. If you like the show and then you want to highlight, hey, everybody, how's it going? And it highlights your chat like you see Chris's on, if you're on YouTube, you'll see it. Mm-hmm. And again, this is for YouTube only. And if you're, you're if you're looking to donate it as well, too, you could do it right there from your YouTube while you're watching. And so amazing feature. And thank you very much, Chris, for setting this up for us. This is uh, hey. huge, especially as we... Uh, uh, go through the rest of the year. So thank you very much. And hi, Dennis. How's it going? From Okinawa, Japan. Oh, wow. wow. So, that, you know, that's the part that really blows my mind that, uh, you know, you know, we're, you know, kind of cooped up in our in our homes and, and yet, you know, we're still able to communicate and mm-hmm. uh, share our in real time. Aloha. Yeah, yeah in real as time. if they're right here with us. It's amazing. All yeah. the world. And again, nice to see Patrick Miyashiro, our recent past president um, online joining us and also Linda Kamihara, all very, very familiar faces, right? Um, so it's it's nice to be back for yeah. sure. Hey, hey, good to see you, John and Clarice. Yeah. Exciting year. I'm excited for 2022. Yes, reaching new heights. <laughs> reaching new heights. And uh, so actually, you know, if we, Jacob, you wouldn't mind, uh, Jacob Higa is also behind the scene as well, too, been helping us this, all this past year. Thank you, Jacob. And uh, if you don't mind showing the HOA website, but again, HOA.org, that's our website. Always a great place to check out to see what's going on. Uh, even on our Facebook, just uh, search Hawaii United Okinawa Association. And, uh, you know, real quick update. And, um, uh, what I want to uh, congratulate is uh, if you look on the bottom right uh, side, you'll see an updated list of uh, the Huyo Lao Lima Cultural Grant awardees. And so this is something wonderful that Huyo Lao Lima uh, 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 Okinawan Club and HOA uh, member organization is a uh, member club. Uh, they, this, they, you know, they fundraise and they give out uh, thousands of dollars every year to mm-hmm. multiple Gaino groups and cultural organization, especially ones focus on uh, Okinawan culture. And, uh, you know, they promote, it helps uh, promote their, you know, so I think Matsuri Daiko was one of them. They're, you know, they're, they were one of the awardees and they're able to, uh, you know, use that to go to Okinawa. Hopefully when Okinawa opens up for, they have a list of uh, uh, groups over there, Jinpu Kai Hawaii. Uh, I am getting to that age where I cannot see that far, but <laughs> if you can go to HOA.org, you can go there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so thank you very much to Huyo Laolima for doing this for many, many, many years and supporting many Gaino groups. And uh, also, we have a spe- very special event coming up uh, next week. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, this week, Sunday. Sunday. And mm-hmm. so uh, we have our Uchinanchu of the Year uh, Uchanchi of the Year Awards and uh, 72nd Installation Ceremony uh, happening this week, Sunday, this week, Woo-hoo. Sunday at uh, 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is a very exciting event. I mean, first of all, we were actually, you know, when we started, this is the, 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 when we were starting out, we were looking to celebrate this live, right? Because mm-hmm. this is around November time. We're like, we're getting excited. We're starting to go to a wedding. We can do this, even if it's smaller capacity. And then Omicron hit. And then, you know, to be safe, of course, we're doing this uh, uh, virtually. But, you know, we were very excited to actually honor the 30. We have 34 Uchinanchu of the Year honorees. So mm-hmm. big mahalo and congratulations to our honorees. And what Uchinanchu of the Year means is just that these are the super Uchinanchus of every club. Mm-hmm. Um, and we have 34 this year. And these are the members 
uh, that who really support their club, who really um, uh, does amazing, amazing things. You know, maybe they were a officer, maybe they uh, helped put up a uh, Shina Enkai or an event, mm -hmm. and they're just, you're just, just super members for the organization. There are the members that really support our club and, of course, our organization and community as well, too. So thank you very much and congratulations. Yes. And although, you know, typically this would be like a 900 plus event, we would have the governor there, the mayor, and, uh, you know, 900 people from, you know, neighbor islands and, and here to celebrate our Uchinanchu, the honorees. And usually they're on the stage, you know, all of them in the group. And we, we have, like, as they come up and they call out their names in their club, Clubs, they actually we cheer for them right and then we try to see who can cheer the loud which club could cheer the loudest for their honorees and so you know we're not able to do that but we're going to try to make it as special as possible for through this virtual event because it is very important that we celebrate our honorees and along with that we're also going to be installing our new officers uh the executive council for hawaii united okinawa association so um that's something that's going to be uh, it's going to be the 72nd uh, slate of officers that will be installed. Uh, we'll be doing it uh, uh, virtually again this year. But we had uh, Judge Nakasone, Karen Nakasone, Honorable uh, Nakasone, Judge Nakasone uh, install us uh, virtually. So, uh, again, it's amazing what we're able to do uh, virtually uh, with meetings and so forth. So. Um, and, and don't then, forget about the bento, bento sales. Yes, the bento sales too. So, uh, you know, typically this is a banquet, right? So we would eat, uh, have a nice uh, buffet dinner and then, uh, you know, talk story and have, uh, you know, cups and drinks that it's either water or awamori, I'm not sure. But, um, but you know, we're trying to emulate that too, right, with this bento pickup. And uh, the idea is you pick, you buy your bento, you order it online, you go pick up right before the event, take it home with your family, and then enjoy the uh, installation banquet show. And it's about an hour and a half to two hours. But this is very important because this is what uh, actually helps uh, uh, fundraise for this event. And this is what makes it special. You know, we're able to get entertainers. And, uh, and there is a cost to, to running this event, although it's via virtually. So any support you can get. We have about 500 people who have purchased bento so far. We're trying to reach a thousand, and so if you could, you know, spread the word and let them know. And um, it also the bento, so right, they pick up. It's a deluxe bento. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a vegetarian, and there's a couple different uh, varieties. Yeah. But it also comes with a very nice kari pack, kari pack, right? So it comes with a very nice glass. And the idea is, you know, when we do the kari kari at the end of the program. We all just, you know, all virtually together. just, you know, get, mm. you know, charge our drinks and then celebrate this year. And so that's the idea. And of course, the program booklet as well, too. It's going to feature all of our honorees, um, all 34 of them. And that's something that, you know, is very special that, you know, you can only get it if you get the bentos. And so, again, you go to uh, HOA.org and there's uh, it's right on the front page. There's an order form right there. You order it online. You pick your, you know, the time that you're, you're looking to uh, um pick up and then uh, that's it. So you just got to remember to pick up on the, on Sunday. <laughs> so again, the event is on Sunday, but to order the bentos, the deadline is actually tomorrow, tomorrow. Wednesday. So tomorrow, Wednesday. And so, uh, you know, please, please, if you wouldn't mind spreading the word, uh, pick up the bentos and then, you know, uh, many of us will be there as well too to uh, kind of greet everybody and say hi and hopefully not talk story too much because we might hold up the line. But uh, <laughs> really looking forward to seeing everybody drive through wise. And so yuta surukutu nige sabida. And then uh, last but not least, sorry, two more things. You know, uh, typically it's a tradition that uh, the incoming president, um, uh, their, their club affiliations help out with this event. And so, uh, you know, I want to say a big mahalo to uh, the Hawaii Shuri Naha Club and then the Young Okinawans of Hawaii for uh, helping support this event and many of their volunteers as well, too. Yeah. yeah, amazing group. And I did, um, I got to work with some of them um, when the honorees came down the other weekend oh, for picture right. taking. Uh, Christine Taylor um, was there and um, Ed Kuba's wife, Bobby Kuba. Um, and it, it was just an amazing group to work with. Um, they really, really went over and above to try to make um, the honorees feel special, especially during this time of COVID. And um, in that same vein, we are um, trying to also give additional um, 
recognition to the honorees through the Uchinanshu newsletter this year. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, you know, we're hoping to get a lot of um, live uh, or action um, and family photos of the honorees, testimonials, things that'll just make the honorees, um, you know, really feel good about the work that they've been doing, not just this past year, but it's really accumulation of of the lifetime effort that they've made um, throughout the years to their to their clubs. So. Yeah, so yeah, again, once again, congratulations. And again, uh, tomorrow is the deadline for the bento orders. Bento and kari pakku. At the very least, you got to do it for the kari pakku. Yeah. And don't so, forget, if you want to stay you know, in touch with all of that's going on and making sure you get notices of these uh, drive bento drive throughs and andagi drive throughs, uh, don't, don't hesitate to sign up for a purple blast. So just go to hua.org. And then look at the look for the purple blast uh, sign up, and that way you can get all this information right on your, uh, you know, on your phone, or however you receive your emails. Linda, thank you. D Linda says, DJ, will you perform <laughs> mini bond dance? Uh, I won't be doing a mini bond dance, but I may make a special appearance. But you gotta tune in to watch. <laughs> With the flags. With the flags, Please. yes, yes. So. That's great. <laughs> so you know. So, you know, again, you know, sorry, you know, I'm going to talk on and on and on. I'm just so excited because it's a new year and I feel like this is a long time. I haven't seen you guys in so long. Like Linda, I haven't seen you since our Yuntaku, last Yuntaku show. But, you know, just real quick on what's going on with HOA, right, for 2022. And again, you know, congratulations to our exec, new executive council members. Many of them, you know, we had to beg, you know, please, you know, they, they you know, they, they spent so much time to, uh, out of their busy schedules to really help uh, help the support the organization and the community. So thank you for many of you who've uh, accepted this uh, challenge. It's not really a challenge. It's just a fun because we get to have so much fun. And, uh, and, and really, uh, I think it's going to be an exciting year. I'm hoping that, one, it's a Uchinanchu Taikai year, right? Or supposedly mm -hmm. it should be. It was supposed to be last Fingers year, crossed, but due yeah. to the mm -hmm. pandemic, it got pushed out to this year. And uh, still, you know, right now, as we as we know it, they're still planning it for this year. So cross our fingers. Mm -hmm. And uh, so very excited. I'm yeah. so excited to see everybody. And then uh, I, I really, really, I feel like this is the year, John, right? That uh, we're going to have year. live events. Man. I so, mean, we tried to set the pace by, you know, having our, our, our craft fair. And, uh, but, you know, well, hopefully everybody catches up to us and we start opening up. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like this is just a little bit of setback, um, but you know, again, you know, please continue to be safe. And um, and 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 real quick, I, I don't know, Okinawan Festival, yeah, please. You're in, you're you're the big this, honcho yeah. for <laughs> for festival. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, but yeah, as as everyone knows, with um so many unknowns right now and Omicron, and hopefully that is trending downwards. Um, we are really really hoping for that. But um, we really really hope to um to have the live event um and so that's going to be some major decisions you know coming our way within the next few months um and definitely the virtual program that that is clearly here to stay right i mean how else do we reach so many people from um the outer islands um into the u.s mainland into other countries um back to our home home um of okinawa and, and japan right so it's it's definitely the virtual component is here to stay and um i have a really really awesome crew um you know that has worked under you as well and 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 for many years in the past and so we're excited um to see where we're going to take that this year hey, wow and that's this is amazing you know we just released a super chat super chat the future and, <laughs> and, and wow we already have brother. donations coming in Lance, <laughs> Thank you, brother. 1999. And angel, Benjamin, angel yes Thank twenty dollars we also awesome. had uh, from hanai wish again wow wow, wow. thank yes, you so much hi. everybody and a happy new year and so and, and real quick you know i want to take a little bit of time because i like talking so much and uh, uh real quick you know this year the hoa's theme is uh Shiji. and i just want to take a very quick moment to talk about this uh theme and first of all i want to big say a big thank you to uh, brandon inc who helped uh he's uh kind of a uh, you know, practitioner of uh, Uchinaguchi language, Okinawan language, and he also known for the Let's Sing Uchinaguchi uh, YouTube uh, page and and 
And so he helped actually, we kind of collaborated together and helped me, uh, made, he made this recommendation for Chui Shiji. And how we got there is we're thinking, you know, third year, this is the, this is the, the time that we're going to hopefully reconnect to everybody, right? We've been kind of cooped up for this past three years and really looking forward to uh, seeing each other and doing live events and then still continuing to uh, see each other online. And so again, reconnecting was a big theme, right? So we thought of three things that were, we thought that we tried to focus and set as a goal for this year. And first thing is reconnecting to our roots, right? So reconnecting to our roots is important because uh, this is what makes our Hawaii Okinawan community very special. You know, many of us say that, wow, you know, that Okinawa group, they're so passionate. And, and I think that's how we stay strong. And so, you know, we got to encourage that uh, getting back to our roots, getting interested in our culture and getting interested in things Okinawa. And so that's something that we got to continue both uh, nurture, both virtually and in person. And then the second one is reconnecting to ourselves, right? Uh, to each other, I'm sorry. And reconnecting is important because we're still reconnecting to other, each other like this uh, virtually. And, you know, something about live events and seeing other volunteers mm -hmm. that, you know, you, uh, you know, in dancing at bone dances, you know, you get this connection, this real connection uh, where, you, you know, you really get to know your fellow friends and membership. And that's, I feel like that's a glue that keeps uh, us together in our club strong. So reconnecting to each other is going to be a big focus this year. And last but not least is um, uh, helping each other. And Chui Shiji, actually, dictionary term uh, meaning is helping each other. And so, you know, helping each other for the future is going to be very important because there's many clubs that are, you know, struggling, you know, maybe they have membership that is declining. And I think this is a time where we have 50 clubs in the organization. You know, we should help each other to support and uh, really uh, focus on, uh, you know, pushing and encouraging our younger generation to uh, really get excited and get involved. So, helping each other and then, of course, uh, focusing on reconnecting. So... I'm going to stop talking for a while. <laughs> we love it, though. That's why. <laughs> it just goes to pass it. Velvro. What is Velvro? Velcro. Velcro. Oh, 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 Velvro. I'm like, oh, man. That's I have an no excellent comment. Means. Yeah, we stick together like Velcro. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. But sometimes okay. you know, yeah, That's okay. Never mind. That's a different topic. <laughs> Okay. Wow, thank you very much, John. How, how do you like host and well I guess because I talk so much. You have time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna turn it over to Clarice now. Clarice, you're, you're... Okay, all right. <laughs> um okay, so DJ, I, I get to interview you for um these first five minutes here, but um, you know, as Everyone is, you know, very familiar with your face, with your voice, um, through Yuntaku, through all of our virtual programming. For those out there that are new to the to the show and, and maybe haven't heard you before, I'm just going to go through some basics. Um, so, um, again, David Jones, our president, official president for this year, 2022, taking us to new heights. Um, and what is your club affiliation? Affiliation. And just, just to let everybody know, you know, for this show, we thought that... Uh, you know, it'd just be awesome to really, uh, you know, just kind of take one episode to introduce. We got a lot of new members this year in our leadership. And, uh, you know, we have like 30 members on our EC. We wouldn't have the time to, you know, introduce everybody. But, you know, we wanted to introduce our our, uh, our Clarice, of course, get to know Clarice a little bit more. And uh, some of our leadership, uh, Miles, Nakasone, Aulani, uh, Yamasato. Uh, also, Chikako Nago and uh, David Shinsato was not here. Is not here, but uh, uh, was not even able to make it. But then uh, uh, him as well too. So really get to know everybody a little bit. And so, uh, so club affiliation. I mean, I've actually involved with two clubs, uh, Young Okinawans of Hawaii. I've been a member for many, many, many years, and been been a many uh, been a president as well for a little while for the club. And um, you know, the you know the main thing is it's an amazing club. I try to stay, stick around, and, and support as much as possible because I feel like I could stay young when I stay with the young, young Okinawans of Hawaii. So, uh, great organization. You know, they focus on uh, ASA and really, uh, you know, getting people interested in Okinawan culture. So, hopefully, you know, we get to do more things uh, this year. And then I'm a recent uh, member of the Hawaii Shurinaha Club, mm -hmm. and so uh, you know, another amazing organization. You know, you know, one of the one of the uh, you know, longest standing clubs in the, in the organization. And, uh, you know, my, my mom's side of the, of, uh, is actually from Hawaii, from Shuri. She was born in Shuri. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's an area that I haven't been able to focus too much, but, uh, 
you know, something that I'm actually looking forward to learning more about my uh, my heritage there. So those are my two clubs. And for those that are not familiar with Young Okinawans of Hawaii, um, so that maybe you could talk a little bit about the organization and how that might differ from an organization like Shinko, which also a lot of people are aware of. So just, um, you know, explain, maybe explain that a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, majority of our clubs in HOA, we have 50, 50 clubs is affiliated with a certain town that your family's from. So I'd be Hawaii, I mean, Nahashuri being one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a handful of clubs like Kuo, Huyo, Lao, Dima. We have uh, Okinawa Genealogical Society of Hawaii. They have different missions. So, you know, Clarice talked about Young Okinawans Hawaii. Uh, you know, our main focus for the club is is get, you know, initially started out as younger generation, but we actually have a young and young at heart. So all ages are available. You know, a lot of our big focus is... Um, doing uh well learning okinawan culture especially um okinawan uh asa and okinawan dance and uh we also focus on just really getting to know um uh, okinawan language or sorry okinawan uh, culture and so that's kind of our big focus and we try to get together around that and shinka i'm actually also a member but i think i may be uh, i may have aged out uh, recently, because I think it's up to 39 or something like that. And you can still be an advisor after. And so uh, maybe I'd be a future advisor, perhaps. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's still very much affiliated with Shinka. And, you know, Shinka was, I think, organized more. It could be, you know, you know, I can't speak for the club um, because I haven't been as involved. But, uh, you know, Shinka is like the club. It's, it's many, many young members, young younger generation members. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, you know, sometimes it's hard to step into an organization like uh your, your family club or maybe uh, getting to young Okinawans where it's really focused on um, Okinawan culture, culture right? Yeah. So Shinka mm -hmm. is more like a, a less, uh, you know, it's just more of a like Have a... fun, yuntaku, Yeah, yeah kari, yuntaku, get yaru, to know each other and get a little bit yeah. of everything. Right. And so, right. so another great organization, if you have one of your granddaughters, uh, friends, or even yourself uh, looking forward to it. And they've been pretty, trying to be act active both uh, uh, online and when can uh, uh, live, live as well. Too. Right, yeah. camping trips, things yeah. like that, right? Yep. Really yep. awesome yep. events. DJ, and so the key takeaway... Sorry, before Sorry, you move ahead. on, uh, why don't you explain real quick what Shinka means? Oh, <laughs> I missed the, I missed the, uh, I missed the, um, the orientation. So, John, we're throwing that one back to you. <laughs> what? Well, Shinka, you can it's part of a. I know, I know it because we one of our lines is named Shinka Nucha, means we're working together uh, for uh, you know common goal. So I think it's bringing people together. Very uh, nice. Very nice. I just didn't want okay, people to get think started. that it was, you know, just a nickname for Takuang or something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, you, John. Okay, moving on. Um, and so how did you get involved with the Okinawan community, TJ? Uh, so so for me, it, it was actually, you know, when I moved to Hawaii, I actually grew up, I was born in Okinawa. I uh, grew up there for a little while. And then I went to Washington State, and I didn't come to uh, Hawaii until maybe like 15 years ago. My my parents were living here, and my mom is from Okinawa. And so when I moved here, my mom it just so happened that uh, the Taikai, Uchinanchu Taikai in 2006 was going on, and my mom took me there. And you know, before that, I had you know you know I grew up in Washington State. There's not much Okinawan things going on there. There is. It's just I wasn't you know it wasn't a main focus. And, um, you know, it just opened my, the Taikai just opened up my eyes. And when I got back, uh, I went to the uh, Okinawan Center because I was very interested in finding out more. And at the time, uh, Wayne uh, Miyahira was uh, the executive director. And he told me, this is a true story, he told me, you know, you know you're kind of young, you know, most of the, uh, the, the, the town clubs are older members. So you don't want to go there. Almost the old people. So go to Young Okinawan the Hawaii. There's young people there. And so he pointed me to Young Okinawan the Hawaii, and that's how I got involved. Right. Yeah. And one that you can't age out of, which is great. Yep, yep. One that I can't, yep, yep. So I stay young. Very nice. Yeah, and, and for those that don't know, um, Wayne is Lynn Mihira's um, father, right? Yep. And um, and she has been extremely pivotal these last um, two years. Um, and, and of course, also before that, right? I mean, I still remember when she was running Okinawan Festival mm -hmm. and, and they did the big um, behind the scenes tour and it just got everyone so excited. So um, yeah, so, so again, shout out to Lynn um, and her family. Um, and DJ, so something interesting about you that uh, most I guess most people would not know, including all of us. Gosh, you know, I, you know, I didn't have a chance to think about, but this is the one of the most important things 
uh, in my life that maybe not many people know is I have a uh, two kids, two young kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a one and a half year old son named Everett. And then I also have almost to be five year old daughter, uh, Emma, who uh, keeps me very busy um, uh, throughout the year. So uh, hoping to be a future young Okinawans of Hawaii and and super, super Okinawa contributor. <laughs> super Uchinanchu. Well, <laughs> super they definitely Uchinanchu. have it in the genes, so we're, <laughs> we're not too worried about that. Um, and then moving on to, um, so what do you do for work? Uh, I, I actually work for a Central Pacific Bank, and, and I focus on uh, commercial real estate and commercial real estate and construction. And we also take care of uh, facilities management, physical security. So just kind of all over the place. Yeah, but so we'll full see. plate. <laughs> Yeah, mostly commercial real estate and uh, construction. Nice, so. nice, nice. Yes. Well, That's why I have so a beard. <laughs> I got to be so a So you grunt. can uh, <laughs> blend in there. Okay. <laughs> um, and so, DJ, again, moving on to your um, goals for 2022. I know we've discussed your themes, but um, you do have specific goals in mind. Do I have specific? Yeah, I actually do have specific <laughs> goals. And, I mean, two quick things. So, I, you know, I talked to, talk to you about... Um, um, you know, how I got involved uh, with Okinawa community here is when I went to the Taikai. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I've heard so many stories of people going to Okinawa and vice versa, uh, students going, coming here and then their eyes are, are woken up. So I feel like there's something about going to Okinawa that just opens you, that, got that, that turns a switch on. And that's what happened to me. So that's something that, you know, uh, even uh, this past year, watching the 70th anniversary, uh, if you look at that, in the 50th anniversary video that we feature, they talked about this leadership tour uh, where, you know, young people actually went. In fact, I believe John is one of them, went to Okinawa on this leadership tour with HOA, uh, went to Okinawa and then just kind of was uh, energized and, and uh, came back to be more uh, involved. And, and he became a president and executive director. And I think he even lives here sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think it's important that, uh, uh, that you know, as much as possible, we try to promote uh, younger generation to go to Okinawa. And so I feel like we're, we're, our big focus this year is to look at um, opportunities to bring uh, the leadership tour back and mm -hmm. have, you know, take young people and future leaders to go to Okinawa. And especially with Taikai going this year, looking to have maybe even look at a scholarship where we can uh, take a couple people uh, to Okinawa, and then we put in there. We put in a clause that you got to help uh, HOA for the next for, ten years. Oh, yeah. oh not for your yeah. lifetime. Only no. okay. <laughs> ten. years. That's a that's a that's, that's a good deal. That's pretty generous. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'll throw in right. one more one one last uh, interesting <laughs> factoid for DJ. You know, um, uh, he's uh, Nihongo Pera Pera, meaning that he is fluent in Japanese, and so you know, I think he takes people by surprise when he just. Yes, we are looking forward to a wonderful year with uh, under DJ's leadership. So, yeah, <laughs> congratulations. Definitely. Thank you. And maybe we could bring back um, Hanaya's comment, and she just wanted to um, explain Shinka. Oh, John, you were wrong. <laughs> Team working together. <laughs> a team which is evolution in Japanese. Check our website. It's a shinka dot org. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, hopefully, yep, Hanai yep. can uh, yep. put that in the chat. Yeah? Thank you, Hanai. Oh, thank you, thank you. Shinka Hawaii dot org. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it's your turn, Clarice. So Clarice <laughs> is uh, Clarice Ooh. is uh, our. Uh, she's actually fairly new to HOA. Uh, mm -hmm. Yet, you know, she just kind of jumped in. She was a president for Oroko Zajin Club. Correct. Yep. And, uh, you know, she, she came to our board, your board, board or board meeting. She, you know, uh, she just kind of jumped in and she was a VP last year for HOA. Yep. And then, you know, she just, you know, just helped out so much. And, and uh, this year she's the uh, president uh, elect to be next year. And so uh, thank you very much, first of all. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna... still pinching myself. I think. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, we're very lucky to have you. And, uh, and same thing, we're going to get to know a little bit about you. So Clarice, what is your club affiliation? So I have roots in Oroku Azajen, as you have already mentioned. Um, that's on my dad's side. Um, I also have roots in Urasoi um, on my mom's side. Um, and then 
also a um, also a member of Shinka, like yourself. I unfortunately didn't yet join Yo, but um, that is definitely on the radar there. So um, those are my three clubs, and you know, again, I've you know, Oro Closet Gen has been um, they've been predominantly my club within the last um, five years or so. So um, yeah, it just it's and then it's just been uphill from there. And then for you, you know, you said five years. That's not that long ago. But I mean, what was what was that spark? What was your spark that got you interested and in, and in kind of going crazy like us? <laughs> yeah. So um, let's see. So it a couple. I, I would say two major things. So um, I, I I mean, I grew up with the club, right? Um, like everyone else, going to the picnics, going to the Shining Kai's, um, although not um, so regularly, you know, as I guess, you know, once I hit like college and all of that. But um, then I met Scott Arakaki, who um, is an Oroku as a gen member. Um, and so he's also an attorney. And so we connected and um, just happenstance. And, you know, he, ha he asked, what club are you with? And so I knew Oroku as a gen, I knew Urasoi. Um, and then it and then slowly but surely, you know, got involved um, with the club itself. Always thought it would stay, you know, just at the club level. Um, and, you know, and then uh, that that's actually my Uda Soy side. Um, but, yeah. but yeah, that's my family. Um, and then uh, once, yeah, basically once Scott pulled me in, then, then you know, just got, um, and there's some picnics, uh, picnic pictures from the Oroku Azajin. That's my grandpa. Um, Roy Kobashigawa's famous oh. pop sign with his always throwing shakas. So, <laughs> yeah, somehow we, I dug up like 1994 um, Orokazajin pictures. And wow. I mean, even seeing like the the games, right? It's like to see, to see how they have evolved, like the the one with the pounding the nails. <laughs> and, you know, now all we, all we think is liability. But, um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's been, it, it really was a throwback. And of course, the the canal right at Alamana Beach Park. Um, that's my brother and my cousin David, and they're I don't know what they're fishing for, they're, but they're they're fishing for something, and then that's yeah, it goes all the way back. Uh, me and my well, brother. We can't we see that. Pull that. Pull that up, Jacob. It's hard to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what 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 they were fishing for, but um, hopefully they found some goodies. So yeah, that was um, it was yeah Scott Arakaki, and then also. Um, oh. There was uh, Shinka had done an event um, that same year. Um, I think it was their second annual Yuntaku, and um, at the executive, uh, one, oh the Hukilao, the Hukilao oh, in downtown. You were there. Yes, I was there too. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the more people I talked to, the more that they're like, oh, they were there. Um, so. Yeah, and I mean, that was such a phenomenal event. Um, I remember meeting Mark and Hanai there. Lisa was definitely there. Um, and uh, she, and I remember seeing um, Junkin, um, Junkin, Uchina Junkin, uh, that for the first time ever, blew my mind. I was like, <laughs> I did not know Junkin Po could be that, um, that fun. But um, yeah, I mean, it was just that event also just, you know, pulled me in. I mean, it, the acoustics in that room, once you hear the music going, the Okinawan music, the, the drums, right? I mean, that's like, the, to me, like the heartbeat of mm -hmm. Okinawa, right? And it was just like, it was very, very nostalgic. And then, um, and that's a throwback all the way to when I was like really young. Oh, um, where are you at? Where are you at? I, you know, I'm not sure. It was a, <laughs> it was like a high school, uh, Kanish, it was the Kanishiro dance group. Um, sadly, you know, she's no longer with uh, us, but um, yeah, it was just a brief period of you know being able to do Okinawan dance for just for a little bit in the middle top yes oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah not nice. knowing what is going on so <laughs> yeah that would be me <laughs> oh very cool <laughs> everyone else is cute yeah so oh yeah 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 so that's yeah that's how I got um that's how I I got very very much involved with uh with the Okinawa and with HOA. And then uh, something interesting about you. I, it, Jacob just, he spoiled it. Oh, that was my, that was my thing. <laughs> ah, Jacob. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, well, here's the interesting thing. Hmm. Jacob is, we're related, oh. right? Through marriage. And I did not find that out until we went through the virtual, no, we knew it by virtual festival. I think we found out um, at Ire no Hi. Maybe Ire no Hi. Yeah, one of the virtual oh. events. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say date or something. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
<laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're we're related uh, through marriage on my dad's side. Um, uh. Yeah, and and so my auntie Sharon um, and her mother. They um, played uh, Koto for a oh, really and Sunshine as well. Oh, yeah, a really long time. So, yeah. Oh, very cool, very cool. And uh, okay, so some of your goal for this year. Yeah. So as I think we we're just talking about that um, earlier. So of course, you know, I need to support you. I have to support you. <laughs> all of your initiatives. I'm I'm there behind you 100. Um, and then of course to have an amazing festival. Um, you know, that, that's definitely top of mind. Um, but also in thinking about like the last few presidents, right? So you, Pat was before you, Lynn was before you and thinking about the themes, like, so what came to mind was kind of like, um, so Lynn's theme was um, Ukaji Debiru, right? Mm -hmm. And very much with the ocean and the wave kind of uh, symbolism to it. Um, then, you know, Pat was with the heart, um, Chimikukuru Tichi. Mm -hmm. And then now yours is Chuishiji, -chu right? Chuishiji, mm -hmm. yeah. um, reaching new heights together. So I'm thinking like the natural progression to that um, in terms of goals is somehow like maybe rising to a summit or something mm. to that effect, right? So from, you know, the water of bringing us all together, we are we, we are who we are because of, of those in the past, uh, because of our ancestors, because of those that have come before us, and then um, slowly but surely each year mounting these obstacles and these hurdles, hurdles and climbing, climbing, climbing. And then, so I'm kind of curious to see like what's there. Mm, past that. Wow, wow, wow. So trying to build off of that, it's still formulating, I'm yeah. still percolating. Um, hopefully there's a term that can capture that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm but, sure. I mean, you're going you're gonna to have a very uh, amazing year this year. Uh, yeah. And so I'm sure there's going to be things that's just going to pop up like, wow, you know, you're going to find out more about the organization, the members, yeah. and just the heart. Uh, so yeah. very cool, very cool. And then last but not least, um, you know, what are some of your just very high level Okinawa Festival plans for for yeah. this year. Well, so again, um, you know, virtual, the virtual component is such a main, such a cornerstone at this point. Um, and, and trying to top it each year is, is going to be, is going to get harder and harder. Um, but, you know, we're definitely, um, you know, looking for ways to do that. Um, and, and that is still a little murky right now. I don't quite know how we get past what we just accomplished in these last two years. Um, and, but mainly, mainly, mainly um, the live component is really, really something that I'm going to try hard to shoot for and accomplish and I, like like you said right in in line with your goals and your theme this year um there's just something that gets lost um when we're not physically together when we're not all celebrating and hearing the same dance or, or um, hearing the same music watching the same performances um and so i'm gonna definitely do everything i can to make that happen this year yeah, and then one of the, the common things i hear is you know typically this the live the festival will would have like 2000 volunteers and uh you know a lot of many you know our club members say like you know kind of this is the one time of the year that you know many of the club members come together and uh you know get to see each other and mm -hmm. talk story and catch up yeah. and while they're volunteering and working hard so really yeah i really miss uh, seeing everybody out there yeah. well, I, thank I you very much for the Oh, yeah, I have yeah, a yeah. question for Clarice. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. No, no, no. You know, like sitting here like listening this. to you, as, I mean, I'm impressed with <laughs> everything that you do and, and will do, uh, but going along with what you will be doing, you know, I, I, I'm kind of curious. Um, you know, I used to joke with uh, our past president, Kushimo Bukuro, because he was one of our most passionate and emotional uh, presidents, <laughs> can't hide his emotions. And, Chris, um, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I feel that uh, Clarice will have him beat. But, um, <laughs> you know, with the pandemic uh, making travel difficult, uh, you know, how excited are you uh, in looking forward to traveling to Okinawa and going to Oroku and, you know, not only meeting, uh, say, you know, government officials like the mayor of Oroku, but you know, family members in Oroku. I mean, any thoughts that you have about that building up inside of you? Yeah, I mean, you know, like like DJ. I mean, so I've not I've not been able to visit yet, right? So this is going to be the very first time, and it's definitely a, you know from everything that I hear, everyone's experiences that I've you know that I've you know gotten to, um, I guess talk about or or hear about. Um, it's really a homecoming, and so that is. 
I get, yeah, that is definitely like, I feel like I will probably be very overcome and overwhelmed with emotions. And I mean, cause just to even hear the music and the, like, again, the drums, right? Like I, I just, I can imagine that it's just some kind of like, um, like reverberation that like kind of just grabs at your heart and your soul and I and that so that to me I'm I'm really really excited about I yeah and so hopefully fingers crossed and we'll be there with the towel ready you know as you <laughs> just a towel not uh, a blanket for all the right. <laughs> you know I'm excited oh, great, for great to hear yeah and now we're gonna introduce our next guest, uh, Miles Nakasone san. Yes, Miles. Hi, Ty. How Mr. are you? Nakasone. Look at that proud that boy. Yeah. As a yogi hat. <laughs> oh, very <Yes>. nice. <laughs> Miles, how are you doing tonight? Good. Yeah. So, um, you are joining us also here at um at the HOC, and um, this is your very first time. I think you said up here in the studio, right? Correct. Yeah. How's it going so far? Uh, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We're gonna make you feel um more comfortable here. So, in a little bit. Um, so Miles, you are our vice president this year of um a very very important um and and you know for lack of a better words, like uh, daunting committee, right? Programs and culture, it really, mm -hmm. it's the heart and soul of HUA. There is like um, so much to capture, you know, trying to organize and coordinate all the different performing, performing groups. Um, so you are here um, uh, taking on that very, very um, big task here. And we feel we are, you are very, very much suited for that. Um, you can tell us a little bit about what you do for a living. For a living? Yes. Okay, so uh, I recently retired uh, from Hawaiian Electric uh, two years ago, and uh, shortly thereafter, uh, one of my friends was opening up a motorcycle shop and asked me to come on with him. So for the last year and a half or more, I've been uh, helping him out at his motorcycle shop, so okay that was a that was a dream of mine from uh, a, a long time oh. so so i'm pretty much living out my dream living right the now. dream right now <laughs> nice 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 i saw a beautiful uh, uh bicycle a bike parked out there at okinawa center is that was that custom built looks yeah. custom yeah wow that, and that you that built yourself like a, yes wow, like wow a nice this is out there mm-hmm Okay, um, and so Miles, um, yeah, what is your club affiliation for those that missed your hat representation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my uh, my club affiliation is with the uh, Azayogi Doshikai. I um, I am the current president for Azayogi. Uh, I've been the president for eleven years, wow. um, and the the club members. Um, told me that uh, the only way I'm getting out of being president is if I die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm guess I'm guessing I'm in there for the long haul because every year at the um, Shinenkai, I uh, I throw it out there and let them know if anybody wants to take over, they're more than welcome to, but no one steps forward. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're so lucky to have you. Yeah. Um, and so. I guess, you know, not quite knowing that you were going to be in this role for that long. Um, how did you get involved in the first place? Oh, that's a good question. So um, my auntie or my, my dad's brother's wife, my auntie was uh, very involved with uh, um, Azayogi and she would invite us to the Shinenkai um, every year and my dad wasn't really into it. So one year, um, she just, she told my dad, your whole family's coming. Tickets are already paid for. <laughs> so you better be there. So um, that was the beginning. Well, I'm told. Uh, well, we, we, we just told. We, we just, <laughs> we would just attend the Shinenkais. Um, and um, I maybe like about, 
uh, four or five years later, the the president of the club, she she had asked me um, to take over the presidency. Um, she said, I'm just going to do this for one year. She landed up doing it for three years. So I figured, <laughs> all right, I dodged the bullet for two years already. So when she asked me to take over the presidency, I, I um, felt like it was overdue anyway. So so I jumped in. And uh, to be quite honest, um, it, it really hasn't been hard at all. It's been a lot of fun. I, I've met a lot of... Uh, good people in our club and Jacob you got a um, couple pictures yeah of that's my wife there oh, oh nice. Stephanie she just we just made uh 24 years oh, wow. yesterday oh, wow, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. but there's a couple more pictures Jacob of a uh, couple girls um this is Shay she's on my um on my board and um Yuri is the other one there should be one more Yuri with her, um, no, next one, one more, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's uh, Yuri and her daughter, um, Tiare. Mm -hmm. Those two girls, Shay and Yuri, are like seriously the backbone or my right and left hand, I kid you not. They um, do so much work. Um, in setting up the Okinawan festival, we do the um, country store with uh, oh. Yomitan, mm -hmm. and that is a huge operation. And those girls are amazing. A any actually any any event that's uh, involved with the club is um, those two girls are on it with me. So mm -hmm. um, they really helped me a lot over the last eleven years. Right. <laughs> And I think we, I mean, that's a common um, theme that you see in a lot of the clubs, right? I mean, like for me, Oroku as a gin is, you know, it, it, it's, it's a well-oiled machine, like, and, and mainly because you have people that are just so dedicated um, that they keep you on track and they make sure everything's getting tended to. And right. there's always, you know, the coconut wireless goes off as soon as you need volunteers and, and, and they're all there. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, super, super um, just great that you I have think, that kind of support. I think you're absolutely right. As far as the, um, the club membership, every event that uh, especially at the Okinawan Festival when we put out the call man the club comes out in force mm -hmm. so, I, hats off to my, my club members because they seriously come out and they, they work hard mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah okay um, and so something interesting about you so um, my first trip ever to Japan was to Okinawa I went with the uh, I think it was like Naka's travel and I could I couldn't speak hardly any Japanese at that time. <laughs> um I came home from that trip and um uh I hosted this um this girl from Japan for the church. They were doing a um a homestay program so she came for uh just over a week and I felt so bad for her because I couldn't speak hardly any Japanese and she was, she's, we both were struggling trying to communicate, but uh, we got through it. And from that time on, I, I um, uh, told myself I need to learn this language. So um, I kept hosting people from Japan um, through the church and then uh um friends of friends and um slowly but surely i was able to um, pick up the language um to the point where i can go to japan now and um i, I wouldn't say i can translate everything but i can get around and not have to um <laughs> rely on anyone <laughs> nice nice well, that is quite quite an accomplishment, yeah. right? I mean, that's yeah, that's absolutely. not. I mean, that's just a very very difficult thing to do. So, yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Miles. Congratulations, congratulations. Twenty four years too. Wow. Yeah, that's a feat in itself, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I, I put on my Facebook page today that uh, my my wife says getting married is easy, 
staying married is the hard part yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know mm -hmm. we um we uh we we struggled a lot in our marriage but uh we um also worked through a lot uh through counseling so mm -hmm. i think uh, that definitely helped our marriage wow. mm -hmm. great advice great <laughs> advice yeah yeah lots of a lot of accomplishments, a lot of uh, milestones there <laughs> there is so the that photo actually that that is not my bike uh, my bike <laughs> is behind that one but oh. that one was a, a customer's bike that uh that's the latest one i did wow, oh, wow. yeah i just uh i just beautiful uh, finished that one wow. and what was the name of the name of the shop again uh bali coco custom cycles wow bali out coco. in uh cambo industrial okay mm -hmm. you guys gotta check it out yeah. Roger. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a feeling it's not cheap though. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, Custom you know what, it, you know yeah. what, um, HD stands for, right? Uh, every Harley Davidson Harley owner knows TV. what HD stands for. Mm. Uh, it actually stands for hundred dollars. Anytime you walk into, uh, uh, Harley Davidson, you say, Hey, can I get an oil filter? That's a hundred dollars. How much is that boat? hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah, wow. it's, a, it's a very expensive hobby, but uh, um, yeah, I, I I totally enjoy uh, transforming the bikes, uh, um, especially for the customers because they themselves can't do it. But uh, when they come to you with the idea, they have an idea in their head, head how they want the bike to look, and then you create it, that uh, that gives me a lot of satisfaction very nice very nice, nice. oh yeah. man lucky to have you and uh, welcome yeah. aboard and looking forward to working with you thanks sure, all right we have another guest aulani aulani yamasato san how's it going hello i'm so nervous going after no, miles no no way <laughs> <don't> motorcycle <laughs> Being so transparent <laughs> about marriage counseling, like wow. Gambate. <laughs> oh, okay. actually, you know, if you wouldn't mind, uh, you know, you know, being the interview for Alani. Oh, the last oh, thing no, she wants. I need to hear no, from you, man. No. No. The next two, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Now, of course, um, a lot of pictures, so <laughs> she did. She did provide a lot of pictures that she'll try to hide behind. But, yeah. uh, you know, we just wanted to start off by saying, you know, uh, you come from uh, a great legacy in the sense that I want to uh, remind everyone that uh, your dad is Maurice Yamasato and he's the architect for the Hawaii Okinawa Center, uh, where okay. we presently are uh, sitting here, uh, DJ Clarice, Miles, and myself. So, uh, but tell, tell me a little bit more about your, uh, your family's heritage. Well, my mom is Jeannie Yamasato too. She was Jeannie Arakaki. And so, um, so we actually grew up, so I'm part of Haneji Club. So we grew up with Haneji Club, but we also grew up in Ozato, Doshikai. So we always went to like the New Year's party and I played volleyball for Ozato and then, um, yeah, just kind of grew up with my mom, danced for Majikina Sensei, so grew up just always kind of being there, like volunteering for things. Like my mom was in who is in Huyola Lima, so we always did the um, Okinawan Festival, the dress up booth, me and my cousins and my friends. So um, that, and I don't know what else. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, and given given that, uh, you know, you probably went to picnics and and and, and did all that. But uh, in, in terms of uh, your family, were you, you guys involved with uh, with the clubs? And, you know, I'm actually related on your mom's side. And so uh, Chatan as well. So uh, tell us about your interest in the in the culture. Well, I'm still learning. I still am pretty slow. Like, so my daughter, Mia, is involved in Hawaii Okinawa Creative Arts with John as the leader. So that kind of um, gets us more exposed to all the different clubs instead of just our own club, because we would go and um, perform for all the different clubs. We, as in they would perform, but then all the parents were like in the background 
But um, yeah, so that kind of just kind of just teaches me more about Okinawan culture. So that's at a Haneji picnic. That's uh, my nephew grabbing all the vegetables. It's Chris grabbing yeah. vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have like those classic things. And then that's the Nago students. So um, Cyrus Tamashiro, he kind of organizes it where the, there's a, John, you can help me out, like a group of Nago high school students mm -hmm. They come to Hawaii, they stay on the big island, and then they stay here. And then when they come here, we just kind of like host them, like my daughters and my nephews and our friends. So Karen Nakasone's daughters, Abby and Ellie are there. So they'll like teach them like TikTok dances or something <laughs> fun, just to kind of you know, bond Real it. cultural experience. Yeah. yeah I mean, my husband, well, let's go, let's go, let's go back. Let's go back because, you know, just so we, we formally introduce your daughters, uh, they're kind of off why don't you point them oh, out to us so Haley and Mia right are on the far right yeah uh, <laughs> so they're there my two daughters and, and that's she great did. because uh, you mentioned Nago they go to they go to the big island because their sister city with Hilo and then they come here and, and you know some of these uh cities have a special relationship with Hawaii clubs and they do a homestay exchange so that's great that you guys are always hosting and then oh so my husband Gannon he's the captain of the Haneji volleyball team and so Mia was playing when she was little and the team and then um I don't know if you know I know Mia Cheryl he's there too and then um all the other I'm like blanking out right now <laughs> so Gannon just so we know, because there's three guys in the photo, is the one in the back, tallest one in the back. <laughs> Just in yeah. case, you know, later he goes, you didn't even, you didn't even tell them which one I was. Oh yeah, he's been, yeah, he's been coaching the volleyball team for, for a while. I, I think I wrote down like 15 years or something. Wow. Wow. Uh, shucks, I, I always feel like. Young Okinawans, we always lost to Haneji Club too. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> now, you, now, you, now you know why. <laughs> yeah. Wonder. So yeah, so I grew up playing on the volleyball team, so so that was really fun. I mean, because you grow up playing volleyball, kind of exposes you to a culture, and then you see like people like Lisa kind of sure. So she grew up playing volleyball too. She's not in the picture, but like she's involved with her club now, so. That's that's kind of fun. And then that's Hoka. That was like Mia's first performance with Hoka. Oh. I think that, I'm not sure which party that's at, John. But yep. yeah. maybe the Yomitan. But she's uh, all, again on the far right. That was like, yeah, when she was little. Yeah, that's but when no. she was not taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> what a while ago. Yeah. And then that's us at the. Um, the Okinawan festival, how we do the dress up booth. So that's all the hui that we love wow, 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 wow. and my cousins and friends. Yeah. <laughs> so that's just another picture of everyone that works at the dress up booth. That's so yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh. Yeah, the ladies are so organized. And then, yeah, one year we actually all dressed up. So. <laughs> <laughs> And then that is at Taikai. So that's 2016 oh. Taikai. So I think when we hosted like the Nago kids, we actually got to see them in Nago. And that's like the, oh, the, nice. the Nago, the mascot. I don't know what his name is. It's somebody <laughs> famous, right? It's, it's that famous guy. I don't know. I'm so it's terrible. It's Mr. Nago. No, it's like a famous Cy Cyrus. Cyrus. No, it's like, uh, sure. <laughs> it's like yeah, oh, we yeah. have like all these famous sayings or something like that. And you can go to the site. So yeah, he's their mascot. I'm so bad. But yeah, and that's Abby and Ellie there too. And then there's my uncle Dennis and Auntie oh. Mitch. So we all went to Tai Tai. So oh, yeah. And my parents in the middle. Oh, and that's me and Mia. Yeah. <laughs> At Tai Kai. Oh, that one is really cool. We actually um, went down to the caves at the um, Peace Memorial. So that was oh. something that I don't think, because Tai Kai is so crowded at the Peace Memorial, we actually went to get away from the crowds and we went 
there and Found that the, the 890 steps yeah it's pretty mm. life-changing though because that was pretty i mean you, you just really feel um just all all that went down there and there was somebody that was praying in there and yeah it was just very um emotional i guess yeah. where the, the he he yudi yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah i it's I, yeah john come on you can talk john <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah near there is where they even have the children's monument so for all the yeah. kids that yeah. perish but yeah, we actually like went in the cave and I remember Mia was like little, she's like, let's get out of here. This is scary. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was very interesting. And then that's oh. more pictures of Tai Kai, just, um, just to see like the amount of people that are there is pretty incredible. Oh. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, John was down like at the VIP section at the bottom and we're like waving, hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> I think my dad too, but yeah, we were up, up in the bleachers, but we had fun. I, I, yeah. I'm telling you, I'm imagining everybody at the stadium, but then only thing different would be everybody wearing masks. Oh, <laughs> I know that. Yeah, yeah. But and it's that, okay. We'll, it's not we'll take apart, it. though, because that would be really odd to see everybody <laughs> and with masks. So, so going, you know, going to Taikai and you know being involved uh, with with Hoka, you've been very involved uh, with Hoka. Uh, Hawaii Okinawa Creative Art. Uh, what are you bringing to the table for uh, as a VP and and being so involved with HUA? I mean, we're glad to have you, all your energy. Well, well, I guess, yeah. So that's like just part of the goals, my goals. I can skip ahead to the other question is that um, you have to support DJ, of course. That's like our main, all of us that we want to do because he does such an awesome job and then <laughs> he has a tough job, but also to support um, member clubs. And so just really want to let people know to, you know, just try and really get involved with your club. If you're Okinawan, part Okinawan, or just want to learn more about Okinawan culture. And, or if you're not sure which club you can you belong to, you can always go to HOA and you can find out which club is best for you. Like, you know, if you're young, you go to Shinka or, you know, if you have family somewhere, then you would go to that um, that that club location. Lo location? That's not the right word. Yeah, the, <laughs> that club. That's the member club that you <laughs> you're part of. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you aboard. But just in case, you know, people are thinking that that's all you do is Okinawan things. Uh, why don't you give us a, a, a brief uh, summary of? the actual work that you do uh, from, you know, <laughs> Monday to Friday? Hmm. Well, I, I'm a landscape architect and a planner, so I really enjoy my job. But I was thinking like, oh, we also had to answer a question like, you know, like what's something interesting about you? Like I used to paddle, I paddled in Seattle, but that was like, that's so crazy because it was so cold and crazy. But um, <laughs> yeah, but like now thought. I don't, I don't do much. I, I, the other interesting thing i was like oh i might i taught my cat tricks my cat can, <laughs> my cat can <laughs> and he can jump through a hoop and <laughs> anyways yeah oh that's <laughs> super cool he, he I've, I've seen, is it this, i think it's the same cat i've seen in the meetings just kind of yes, yes, walking yes, by he's very, um, <laughs> he's very food driven and yeah so I think, uh, yeah but yeah, I, I used to do things before, but yeah, after having kids, now we do stuff like, you know, whatever. So that's actually how I know Pat's daughter really well, because our daughters dance ballet together. So we were always behind the scenes at Ballet Hawaii. Wow. And then, yeah, and then my daughter was in volleyball, so we we're always doing busy with that. And then Hoka, well, Hoka's fun. Yeah, not, yeah, hardly. I have very talented daughters, I think. Um... <laughs> played the violin and the was it the cello wow. no, was... oh uh, that's ballet yeah so my dad would and, always and make him perform at um all the new year's parties <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah but we're we're so happy to have your energy on board uh you know not only uh in the past on our on our council but now as a vp so we look forward to all your contributions and you know if you can make the cat jump through hoops <laughs> um, you know, I don't. I don't think Gannon will uh, admit to you making him jump through hoops. But uh, yeah, no. yeah, I can't get the cat to fetch though. 
Yeah, <laughs> still working on that one. <laughs> so. yeah, well, we'll it's definitely time. It's a goal still this time. year. Yeah. yeah. You have a lot of fans out there saying hi. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like all my family. <laughs> <laughs> hey, family. That's all my cousins. So, yeah, they always help out at festival or any events. Yeah. So, it's so cool. Very cool. Very cool. Mm, very nice. Well, thank you, Alani. And I'm very excited yeah, to have you. Thank you, this Alani. And, and she we also makes a killer have another iced coffee. Yes, and, and you know what, John? You do such an amazing job. I'm going to have you introduce <laughs> the next guest as well, too. Okay. You know, I have the audience know that. I didn't know I would be doing. I'll be doing these interviews. <laughs> but uh, well, we were talking about Nago Okinawa, so we're going to go from Nago Okinawa to someone actually with the name Nago. So let's introduce <laughs> Chicago Nago. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. 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 You know, um, I feel like I've known Chicago a very long time because mm. I have. But, you know, more interestingly, to me at least, uh, I've known your <laughs> husband even longer. So, uh, you know, and so it was uh, knowing that he, he met you in Okinawa. But I don't know about your time in Okinawa. So why don't you, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your family and your roots in Okinawa? Okay, so I'm from Urasoe, and I grew up in. I was born in Urasoe, and I grew up in Urasoe. But after high school, I went to California to go to school. So um, then, after a few years, I finished junior college in California, and then went back to Okinawa, and then then. You know, I had a kind of reverse culture shock after being in California for three years. I was young, so I kind of observe everything, whether it's good or bad, you know, just going back to Okinawa. And then then I had a hard time adjusting, actually. So, and uh, I had different kind of job, you know. Every year I changed my job because I wanted to do something different. And and I always had the multiple jobs at the same time, you know. teaching aerobics and working for, you know, school and then sometimes daycare and then all kinds of things. So all mess, you know? Uh, now, did I get my, did, did I get my story straight that he, uh, Hiromichi, your husband met you when you're teaching aerobics? I was working at this one gym and, mm. uh, and then the staff was telling me that, oh, there's a guy from Hawaii and he doesn't speak Japanese. So can you go and then tell him that, you know, what he wants or how they can help? So that's how we started talking. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. sure that's not the pure truth. There's a, hey, there's this really good looking guy and he's from Hawaii and you California girl. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, in, in having all those jobs, I mean, uh, you know, we might as well continue and tell, tell me a little bit more about some of the jobs that you've had, you know, when you when you came to Hawaii. Oh, so prior to, to moving to Hawaii, um, I was working for the radio station as a part-time. So, um, you know, I was just, um, I had a sponsor and which was an English conversation school and then they wanted to find somebody that give actually an English conversation lesson every day little bit, little bit, like, you know, one minute or two minutes or something like that. So I was able to make my own script and I was a great director working at the Okinawa, you know, FM Okinawa. And she was just, you know, going through how to speak and all that. I mean, she was great. So that was a great experience for the whole year. Yeah. No, and it, and, and it, we could tell, I mean, and that's why, uh, you know, Chicago has been a long time uh, host for us on Keizu and doing such a great job. But then you also, you also worked, um, I believe it was for United a long time, correct? Yeah. So uh, officially this year, I'm going to retire and uh, I, oh. 25 years of service and, and I oh. really, uh, really enjoyed I really enjoyed working in airlines. So, so a lot of people think that I, I fly as a flight attendant. No, I never done it. I was hoping that I would be doing it in the last, you know, some years. But I studied as a customer service at the airport, 
And after like 11 years or so, I went to reservation. So I actually sat and then to call and then sell tickets. And uh, five, six years, I was at the customer care, which is like a, you know, complaining department. And then, then you know, I, I learned so much from that department. It's like going to college and then, you know, uh, so many things that I, I, I just all united a lot for that, you know. I always looked for you at the airport because I thought you could get me a first round, I mean, a first class, you know, round trip <laughs> ticket. Every time I flew on United, you weren't there. So either that or you saw me and you ran away. No, I didn't want to. <laughs> I probably saw. <laughs> did you know I, I, I anchored to so many people, so many mm. people in, you know, Chinanchi community. And it was so, you know, it was so joy for me to just to meet everybody at the airport. So, yeah. But you say you're retiring, but you're not really retiring because you have another great job. Really, it's not really a job. I think it's it's a life's work that you're you're kind of jumping full time into. Why don't you tell everybody about that? Yeah. So my husband and I, we have a company called EM Hawaii, and um, we have a shop on the Highway. So we sell, uh, we do the wholesale, retail sale, and, and you know, consultation of this EM product. And EM is an effective microorganism. So it's a, a combination of beneficial microbes work for environment, health, and, and you know, pets, and then all kinds of things. But technology is from Okinawa, and it's been around for 30 years. So um, yeah, I, I really enjoy um, being at the shop and talking to people, take time and, and they're explaining things. And then, and then also uh, we provide a different classes, uh, really uh, encourage people to learn about the fermentation and, you know, and, 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 and really um, those kind of things can enrich your life. So, um, and then also a uh, little bit more conscious about the environment that we live. And with this technology, we truly believe that we can, um, bring back the ecosystem of Hawaii. And, you know, it's it's the concept of mountain to sea. We can clean up pretty much and then also get involved with a lot of people to to be more conscious about and then, and have the ownership of this land. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe take a minute or so to explain the Alawai project. Oh, so there is a, besides the business, we, we, um, we do the Genki Alawai project. So we try to, um, clean up Alawai Canal uh, within like seven years, swimmable, fishable, that's the goal. And the EM is uh, like explaining that's a uh, beneficial microbes. So uh, the most of the problem in the stream and ponds are the built up sludges and they are chemical that cannot be broken down. So uh, actually the EM, those microbes, their feed, you know, their food is all those things like you know at the chemicals that cannot be broken down so they literally eat and, and then increase so the the balls that we you make and just simply throw it in that um, bottom of that canal and then the balls are digesting all those sludges on the bottom so so we actually um were involved with the schools along the alawai canal um elementary school to elementary school um uh, Alawai Elementary School and a Jefferson School. So last year we threw uh, more than 2,000 Genki balls and they were actually making all the graders, they, they made the balls and then they learn about the, the effective microorganism, you know, microbes that work and, and they threw and it was, uh, you know, each event was so exciting, you know, kids learn a lot and then uh, also parents, you know, wonder what they're doing and then also the when we were throwing the balls and then people walked by they would ask what's going on right and and then they were excited too so yeah we are moving this project this year um more events are coming so very exciting yeah yeah that's a great project they even had uh they even had the uh, people vips through it from the hokulea as it came up oh. from <laughs> yeah and and uh, one of the events I attended, we tested the waters and the waters at the far end were actually uh, almost drinking quality in the Alawai now. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, doing all that, uh, but then now having been with HUA as a language secretary for a long time, 
and helping us with KZU and you know a lot of other projects. Uh, you're stepping forward and as an officer, uh, tell us, you know, what what brought you to this point? Ah, I don't know, but I, you Besides know. Besides literally twisting your arm, but. <laughs> you know, so 2002, what was the year that you were president, John? 2007? Oh, just a few years ago, 2008. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> So right before 2000 to 2008, I was a, language, a Japanese language secretary, right? And then from there, um, there was a gap like 15 years. And then Lin uh, became president and then, you know, she needed help. I said, okay, you know, I can do radio show and then whatnot. So, but then, um, you know, um, it's been really fun actually to, to introduce, you know, all those people in community to the radio show, and and I had a great privilege to know each of uh, each guest, and um, and also you know at the same time um, you know, we I get to know what's going on in the community. So yeah, it's mm -hmm. been we're, we're really excited to have you come aboard as an officer because I know in the yeah. past you've been very active in our meetings and asking a lot of questions, and so I know you'll also be providing a lot of. Uh, answers, you know, when when uh, when we get into meetings now. So it's great to have you. I hope a lot of people learned a lot about you. Again, uh, you're the voice behind the radio. So many people probably haven't even seen you. They just hear your voice all the time. But uh, again, Ipeni uh, Hedebidu for all you do and all you're going to oh, do yeah. for us. Thank you. Now, now voice of Yun Taku too. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, no, no. Just kidding. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And when aerobics uh, yeah. comes back, then we'll have you teach aerobics too. Oh no, that's. <laughs> 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 thank you, Chicago. Oh, oh, great to have you. Thank you, Chicago. So we should we should bring everybody back online, and oh, yeah. uh, well, you know, very lucky to have you guys. And I hope uh, everybody was you know had a chance to get to know everybody just a little bit. And uh, you're going to see, you know, many of these uh, members uh, uh, throughout the year. So again, thank you, thank you for uh, taking on. It's just, just such a, a wonderful organization. I feel like you know, uh, you're going to work with many uh, different clubs. Uh, you know, you get, to, you get to support so many, uh, you know, Gaino crew, uh, Gaino, Gaino clubs, as well as our community members and our UOI. So it's going to be an exciting year this year. Looking forward to working with all of you and uh, man, chibadio, yeah. ne? Yeah. Chibadio. Chibadio, Um, You know, just a reminder again, thank you everybody for tuning in. Thank you for all the, you know, uh, donors who uh, use this uh, super chat feature. I think we raised like, I don't know, almost like $100. And so I really, really appreciate it. And so thank you for, for all you do. And again, uh, tomorrow is the deadline for our uh, bentos. So if you can help us with, uh, 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 pick it up bentos uh, tomorrow. You can go to hoa.org and our uh, Uchinanchu of the Year. It's time to celebrate our Uchinanchu of the Year. It's 34 of them this Sunday at 2 p.m. So again, tune, tune in at uh, you can go to hoa.org or you can go to our YouTube and uh, uh, look for our, our uh, Uchinanchu of the Year uh, uh, virtual presentation. So, uh, you know, help us cheer them on. And uh, we got a uh, we got a kachashi kari and, and mm -hmm. cheer them on as they uh, as they come on the screen. So, yeah, mm. yeah. And also, thank you, everybody. Look forward to uh, another great year of Yuntaku Live. Absolutely, absolutely. We have five. We have four new hosts today. Future <laughs> hosts. <laughs> oh, wait, did we tell you about that? <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Again, Happy New Year. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. And <laughs> Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.